Hey Hofter fans and welcome inside the WB Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHofter.com. Mark Peruson joined by the head coach of the Hofter women's lacrosse team, Shannon Smith. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Mark. Uh, team is now 3-2. and two. You split the two games last week against number 3 Maryland and Central Connecticut State. Uh, your overall thoughts? Yeah, um, I think our girls rebounded very well after a, a, a tough loss to Maryland there. Um, we came out really firing on all cylinders. Uh, we played we finished our shots, which was huge for us. We did very well in the draw controls. Uh, just a few things that we weren't happy with was I thought uh, Central Connecticut outplayed us there in the second half, and uh, we got beat to ground balls on our own field, and, and that's just a little unacceptable. So we're working on that, and we'll improve it for this week. The score is 4-1 to one at halftime um, against the Terps. It was their lowest goal total, goal total after a half. Um, this season, what did you see that you liked in the first half against Maryland? Yeah, we played very tough defensively. Uh, I thought our defense and Kelsey Gregerson in the net played unbelievable. Uh, we just we weren't able to keep that up going in the second half. Uh, part of the reason was we weren't getting long possessions on our attacking end, and, and attack wasn't fish, finishing. We weren't going strong to the net, and we weren't putting the balls in the back of the cage. And uh, Maryland started winning those draw controls in the second half, so they were getting a, a lot of quick transitions off the draw um, straight down the middle of the field on us. But but uh, we learned a lot from it. We regrouped. Uh, we got a nice win over Central Connecticut, and, and now we're looking forward to this week. And first time having a week of practice in front of us in a couple of weeks, so we're really taking advantage of it and, and getting better day by day. And that game was last Tuesday, but then on Saturday, you hosted Central Connecticut State. Ten different goal scorers in that one. Hofstra scored 17. One of the goal scorers was Britton Altamari. Um, she had four goals, three in the first seven minutes of the game. Talk about what you saw from her. Yeah, Britton played great that game. Um, you know, she really came out hard uh, right from the beginning and, um, you know, dodged hard and was able to set up some of her other teammates. But I think overall, our offense was moving the ball and people were moving off ball. Uh, we were cutting nicely and we were finishing our shots. I think we produced a lot of shots in our previous games, but we didn't finish them. And then on Saturday, we finished our shots. Britain finished that game with six points, but how about the freshman? Erica Newman with a couple of goals named CA Rookie of the Week. Jenna Peralta scored twice as well. Talk about those two. Yeah, uh, Erica was great. She finally came came out of her shell a little bit and was able to finish some goals for us. Uh, but she's been running the midfield, uh, just wasn't producing on the offensive end. So it was really great to see that from Erica. And the same thing with Tiana. She really came out hard um, and dodged extremely well and finished finished her shot. So we're expecting that from them again, and we don't want them to take steps back. We want them to take steps forward now and uh, hopefully produce like that every game we play for the rest of the season. You touched a little bit on this um, before. The team took 28 shots in this game, scored 17. What did you see overall from the offense uh, against the Blue Devils? Yeah, a ball movement, and we were moving off ball. We were cutting nicely. We were working together, and, and the offense was finally clicking. We've been waiting for that to happen, so we're hoping to continue that, um, You know, teach them new things this week, and, and be ready for, for our game against Marist on Friday. In goal, Kelsey Gregerson and Alexis Green makes her debut. What did you see from those two? Yeah, Kelsey did great, uh, as, as per usual in there. It's very tough for us. And Alexis, it was, it was awesome to see Alexis come off the bench there, um, come in ready, focus. She had two big saves for us there in the second half. Um, you know, so she got some experience, and she works very hard in practice, and hopefully we can get her more minutes as the season goes on. Has to be brought up as well. Uh, before the Central Connecticut game, April Ionetta was named to the uh, Tawartan watch list. That's another area of this game where you have plenty of experience with. Talk about what that means for April. Yeah, I think it, it, it's, uh, it's a huge compliment. It's a huge honor. There's a lot of phenomenal players on that list, uh, and there's been a lot of phenomenal players that have won that award before. So I think uh, it's a huge honor for April, and uh, she knows she wouldn't be there without any of her teammates. You know, her, her team is huge to her, and, uh, you know, we, we congratulated her at the end of the day. You know, April always puts the team first, and uh, she's just, you know, ready to get after it and, and see where the season can go with the team. You have almost a full week off before, after the game against Central Connecticut on Saturday. Uh, you have Marist on Friday and then Quinnipiac on Sunday. What are going to be some of the keys this weekend for Hofstra? Yeah, I think we got to get better on our ground balls. Um, we got to work, continue to work on our shooting um, so that we're able to have a high shooting percentage again against Marist and Quinnipiac. And um, overall, we got to get better with our clearing um, and just limiting our turnovers. So taking a few keys from the games that we've had and a few mistakes and, and moving forward with it and get better with it. Okay. Head coach of the Hofstra women's lacrosse team, Shannon Smith, thanks for the time. Thanks for having me. And thanks, Hofstra fans, for tuning in right here on GoHofstra.com.